the patients uh, who are still on treatment uh, in uh, both uh, three, in the three arms of the, the, the innocent study are uh, um, approximately uh, almost 60% for the patients in treatment with lenotinib independently from the dosage and uh, only 45% for the patients in treatment with imatinib. The patients uh, who stopped the treatment with imatinib were doing so mainly for insufficient response and uh, some of them, approximately 10% of them, also for side effects uh, with respect uh, of, uh, um, uh, to, to, of the treatment. Uh, what is uh, uh, really relevant is that uh, whereas uh, nilotinib 400 mg twice a day, that apparently is the most efficacious uh, dosage that we have for nilotinib, indeed uh, uh, this is a less tol well tolerated uh, 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 dosage because 20% uh, uh, of the patients discontinued not for insufficient response but because they cannot continue uh, the, the drug uh, due to side effects or adverse events. So I think that probably we have to reconsider all this data to suggest which is the best appropriate treatment in particular dosage of the drug as first line therapy.